hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial so on today's video we're going to be doing the sewing part of this dress if you missed the last video where i showed you how i drafted it i'll have it linked in the description box below so you can go check it out so let's get right into the sewing of this video so guys these are all the fabric pieces we're going to be working with and i also went ahead to cut out lining pieces for each of the fabric piece we went ahead also to iron interfacing on the main fabric piece but not on the lining piece so now we're going to go ahead to start assembling all our fabric pieces together so for the front piece i'm going to align them together right sides facing each other then we're going to go ahead to pin them down After pinning this down, we're going to sew along this line here by half an inch all the way down on both sides and we're going to do the same thing we're doing for our main fabric pieces for our lining as well. For the back, I went ahead to create notches at the side so I know where the joinings are to meet. Now I'm going to go ahead to pin this down and take it to the machine to sew by half an inch. After sewing, I went ahead to give everything a good press and this is what we have. Next, I'm going to move on to bring in the skirt part of the press so we can attach the top part to the bottom part. So I'm just going to pin the top part to the bottom part. After pinning each of the pieces together, we are going to take this to the machine to sew by half an inch. After joining all the pieces together, this is what we have. I'm bringing in the back piece of our dress and we're going to pin it down to the front piece this is going to enable us to join the back and the front pieces together so i'm just going to pin this down So I had already went ahead to mark my body measurements divided by 2 on the front part already. So we are going to move on to stitch the front piece and the back piece together from the sides here following the mark we had already made initially. So we are going to sew this and trim off the excesses we might have at the sides. After joining this is what we have and like I said you would want to trim off the excesses so your dress stays in place and in shape when you flip it over to the right side so now we're moving on to open up the back part to fix in our zip so from this point here i'm going to stitch this all the way down following the zipper allowance we have and then we're going to fix in our zip after doing that this is what the back part is looking like this is what our zipper is looking like now I'm going to open this up so we can add in our lining and for the lining we did exactly the same thing we did for the main fabric piece. Now we're going to fix our lining piece inside of our main fabric piece, right sides facing each other and you want to make sure that your lining is one inch shorter than your main fabric. So you can see here that the right side of my main fabric is facing the right side of my lining fabric so please take note of that. Now I'm going to go ahead to align my lining piece to my main fabric piece and I'm going to move on to pin this all the way around to enable us sew the bottom part. And after stitching, we're going to be sewing this by half an inch all the way around. Oh. 
after pinning this down we are going to take this to the machine to sew after sewing this is what we have and as you can see i also went ahead to top stitch on the lining piece just so everything stays in place now we're going to move on to join the main fabric piece and the lining piece to the zipper area so what we're going to do is i went ahead to create an opening at the side of my lining which is this part so that is where we are going to pass all the stitch work we'll be doing so this is the um, zipper part of the lining we're going to pass it through the dress and bring it out on this other side here so i'm going to go ahead to align this part here together making sure that the right sides are facing out so you can see that i'm aligning them together the right sides are facing each other and the wrong sides are both inside so now i'm going to go ahead to just pin this down just so it stays in place for us to sew after pinning this down i'm going to go ahead to pass through the opening i created earlier at the side of the lining so we're going to pass through that opening i created here and that is where we're going to sew our zipper so this is like the easiest way to do this so we're going to pass that zipper part we pinned down initially through that hole and we're going to hold everything together to sew so we're going to sew this all the way to the very end of our zipper so again we're going to hold the lining and the main fabric together sandwiching our zip in between and then we're going to sew this so after sewing this is what it's looking like we've gone ahead to stitch this and i'm going to take out the pins and flip it over to the right side so you can see this is what our zipper area is looking like you can see that the lining and everything all the stitching is on the inner side now i'm going to go ahead to do the same thing for this part and we're just going to take it from this inner part we opened up at the side here so we're going to take this from the inside and bring it outside the zipper area we are bringing it out from that hole we created So after bringing this out, I'm just going to make sure that I align my main fabric piece and the lining piece together, sandwiching the zipper in between and then we're going to sew. Make sure you're not sewing on the zipper but just at the side of the zipper. So we're going to take this to the machine like this and then we're going to sew all the way from the top to the bottom. After sewing, this is what we have. Now we're going to go ahead to finish up the top part here. So I'm going to take my pin and pin everything down and take this to the machine to sew. We're going to go ahead to sew along this line all the way to the other side after sewing this is what we have i'm going to go ahead to trim off the excess we have at the top after trimming off the excesses we're going to go ahead to pass this from this opening we created here we're going to pass this all to the right side so this is what we have and you can see i also went ahead to add straps to mine this is totally optional So you can see that when we go ahead to open up the zipper part here you can see what it looks like on the inside you can see that all our seams are on the inside of the dress 
Now we're going to go ahead to iron this and set this aside to work on our 3D roses. So guys, for the roses, I went ahead to cut out seven square fabric pieces and they are all different sizes. I'm going to put up their sizes on the screen just so you know the measurements we are working with. Now I'm going to take each of the pieces and I'm going to fold them into four places like this the way you see me doing right now and then i'm going to fold it again like this and then we're just going to cut a curve at the top here so you can see the way i'm doing it here i'm just going to create a curve like this so after cutting this this is what it look is looking like so you can see the shape we have i'm going to go ahead to do the same thing for all the pieces down to the very last one So these are all the rose petals we went ahead to cut out. So after cutting this out, you can see that there's a line in the middle like this that comes across like so. So this is what it's looking like. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to cut one side open, just one side for each of the rose petal. So we're going to go ahead to cut this and stop at the midpoint there. So this is what we have. So I'm going to go ahead to do the same thing for the rest of the rose petals. So for the last two um, rose petals, we're going to go ahead to slit it on this side as well as this other side, taking out this part entirely. So this is what we have. So I'm going to do the same thing for the very last piece. So we're going to slit on this part as well as this other side and take it out. So this is what all the fabric pieces are looking like. Now we're going to go ahead to just burn the edges a bit just so it doesn't fray out. So you can go ahead to use a lighter or a candle, whichever works for you. We're just going to go ahead to bond the edges. After burning all the edges, we're going to go ahead to start assembling the rows together. Now I'm just applying gum to the sides and after applying the gum, I'm just going to overlap this on the other side. So this is what we have. I'm overlapping it so it sticks together. I'm going to do the same thing for the other pieces. What I'm going to do is bring in the gum and then I'm going to apply it on one side of the the rose petal and then we're going to use the other part to overlap on it just so it sticks together and creates that rose shape
so guys after sticking them together this is what we have i'm going to go ahead to start putting them together so you're going to need to get a needle and thread make sure you're working with a matching thread for this and we're going to start stitching the first rose petal at the bottom here and after doing that we're going to connect it from the bottom part here inwards and then we're going to just start layering each of the rose petals according to their size After adding all the rose petal, I'm going to secure this. So I'm going to tap this again, taking this like two to three times inside the rose and taking it out again, just so your rose is secured and it's not going to it's not going to be loose. You want it to be tied together very well. So this is what we have. This is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead to make more of this. You can see that I already went ahead to make another one. This is what it's looking like. We're going to make more of this to surround the rest of our shoulders. So this is what we have after I was done making them. Now we're going to move on to attach this to our dress and to do that you're going to need a fabric strap like this. This is about 2.5 inch wide and the measurement for the length is going to be determined by your um, arm measurements and the opening you want there. So we are going to attach it to the front here as well as the back part of the dress here. This is going to serve as um, a base for our roses to sit on. So we are going to start arranging the roses on the dress to the desired style we want and then you are going to pin this down when you, you're done pinning this down, you want to use your needle and thread to start tacking everything in place. And with that, we've come to the end of this tutorial. This is the final result. If you found this video helpful in any way, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed already. And if you have any questions, do leave it in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer those questions. See you on the next video, guys.